Ah, uh, I'm never going to finish this. My name is Shiro Sasagi. I graduated college two years ago and currently work a tough corporate job. I went to a decent college, but an unfair society was waiting for me after. I would get squashed by a full train before coming back home after the date had changed. The pay was cheap and holidays vanished. Do they know about minimum pay and labor laws? I really want to quit. I want to just be cared for by a beautiful girl and spend the rest of my life that way. I don't know what I'm wishing for when I've never had a girlfriend in my life. Whatever. I'm going to finish off work today and... How long has it been since weekends simply became days for me to catch up on slept death? I didn't go out when I was a student, but I absolutely read and played games. A phone call? Not work, right? Oh, it's from Grandpa. Hey, Yashiro. What's up, Grandpa? You're not married yet, right? Yeah. Is he calling to taunt me? I'm already 24. A lot of the guys that have been dating have been announcing that they're getting married. Am I the only one that's just going to be unmarried and single while working? And you don't have anyone you're dating, right? No. Why are you asking me about all of this out of the blue? Well, there's an old friend of mine that's talking about a matchmaking thing. He wanted me to introduce someone that's young to one of his. Then I thought of you. Why? Matchmaking? And if it's Grandpa's friend, they're probably rich. I heard that Grandpa was very sociable back in the day, and he has a lot of connections. Should I really be one to go to that person's matchmaking? Honestly, I didn't even know these kinds of sessions still happened in this day and age. There's gotta be someone else, right? You're the perfect age. You're young and work hard, and more than anything, I know you. Trust is the most important thing in a situation like this. I mean, yeah, but... I'm not going to say that you have to get married, but I want to see my great-grandchild soon. You can ask someone else for that. But he did take great care of me. I should try to repay him when I can. If he doesn't mind the results, then... I guess it's a good chance for me to do that. All right, I'll do it. Ah, great decision, my boy. Sure, but who's the girl? You can find out when you meet her. I guarantee you she's beautiful. I'll reach out to you once I decide the date, okay? Bye. He hung up on me. He didn't tell me about her. I wonder what kind of person she is. I don't know how much to trust him. No point in thinking about it, I guess. Honestly, do I even have a suit to wear to the occasion? I should at least have it pressed and cleaned. I don't want it to be stinky, and I don't want to cause problems with my grandpa. I continued working as a slave to corporate labor, and the day of the session finally arrived. It's here, right? The house is huge! They're definitely rich. I knew they would be, since it was grandpa, but... Where's the intercom? Ah! Yes? Um, I'm here for the matchmaking. My name is Shiro Sasagi. Sasagi-sama, one moment, please. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Right this way. A, a maid? A real maid? And she's the classic type, too! I think I can have a beer with the owner of this mansion. The madam is in this room. Uh, I'm sorry, but... I don't even know her name. Don't worry, sir. She has told me not to tell you her name. Is she not really happy about this? Like, I don't want to matchmake with this fool kind of thing? And just a word of advice, sir. She's incredibly easy to misunderstand. Her words and expressions often don't represent what she really feels. I see. I don't really understand the advice. I decided to go in and face the heat. Ma'am, Sasagi-sama is here. Come in. Huh? I've heard that voice before. It's been a minute, Shiro. Fancy that we'd run into each other at a matchmaking session again. Maki Asumi? You're not the... I most definitely am. Oh yeah. Her last name was Asumi. She was a classmate of mine from high school and university. And every time we saw each other, she would nag at me. For some reason, we would always have a difference in opinion, and we would start arguing with each other. We argued about what goes on scrambled eggs, 
I thought it was just ketchup, but Maki said that salt was all you needed. But she definitely did look great, although it pains me to say it. A lot of men fell for her beauty. Me? You really think I'd fall for someone that I argued with on a daily basis? She was pretty, but that was it. She always had great scores too, so she'd never fallen from the top spot in high school. By the way, I was barely scooting by in top 9. I always worked hard to not lose to her, but I could never beat her in my academic career. She was smart and beautiful, but she went to the same university as me because her house was close or something. When I ran into her at uni, I was shocked. I didn't really think I'd talk to her in college, but since we went back to high school, we did trade contact info. I just spent my days kind of avoiding her. She was always being pulled left and right because of how she was. I hung out with my own friends, but we did run into each other sometimes. Of course we argued when we did. I felt like I could have been more mature, but there's some things I just can't change. After graduating college, we stopped talking completely. I was always busy with my job, and I wasn't one to really reach out to begin with. It's gotta be the same with Maki. I thought that I'd never see her again. And right when I was about to forget about her... And here we are. I'm already shocked that there's matchmaking, but the person I'm seeing is her? What the hell do I do? I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I don't know if this is possible. I know that we're incompatible. There's no way I can date her with marriage in mind. I will excuse myself. Please, take your time. Wait, hey! That maid was totally smirking. Did she know about us when we were students? Sit down. You came to the matchmaking session, right? I mean, yeah, but... It's the same with me. I have reasons too. So I need you to sit down and get started. And besides, I said yes to this knowing it was you. Why? Stop making me repeat myself. Please sit down and talk. The tea is going to get cold. It's good. Of course, you're a guest here. Honestly, more than that, you are a potential match. I can't give you something bad. But we always argue. That's another story. Normally, we should make small talk and get to know the person, but I suppose since it's you, it's all useless. So I'm just going to be blunt with you. You don't want me, right? Then I wouldn't have agreed to come to this, right? I'm thinking about dating you with marriage in mind. Wait, what? Hang on. Why would we do that? This is just a personal idea, but if I turn down this session with you, there will be another person that shows up to me. If it's between some random person I don't know that I have to talk to about boring subjects, and you, whom I have talked to before, I would compromise with you and end the session. Compromise? There's gotta be a better way of putting it. You're right. But you coming here means that you couldn't find anyone, right? Then I should be fine. I know it's weird that I'm saying this about myself, but I think I'm a pretty good catch. If you just look at your face, then I suppose I can't argue. When we were in school, there were a lot of boys who would have killed to be her boyfriend. She even won the college beauty contest. She's got the looks, the social skills, and everything you'd want in a wife. And as you can see, my family is well off. You won't be struggling for anything. If anything, you could work at my father's company. I heard your company is extremely tough. It's not that easy. I'm saying that is an option. Just out of curiosity, what kind of work would I be doing? You should be working in wholesale. You don't know Asu Inc.? I didn't know that that was your family business. I mean, it's only got the Asu part, so that makes sense. My grandfather named the business, so he might have thought it was fancy. Who knows? I mean, it's kind of cool, sure, but I don't know. From what I hear, that company is incredibly nice to work at. Go home on time, incredible pay, amazing benefits. I wish they would give my company at least one of those. But it must look bad for me to get in on connections, huh? There's got to be some employees that are already working there that want my position. Just leave your results and it's fine. Easy for you, right? Your scores at college were pretty much the same as mine. How long ago was that? I'm complimenting you. You should be happy. I don't think you'd compliment me for nothing. 
there's gotta be more to it. Or you're just trying to get me in a good mood so that you can try to get me to accept this matchmaking. High compliment too, you know. Or what, I'm not allowed to? It's not that you're not allowed to. I'm just not used to it. We would always argue, so I wasn't expecting her to compliment me. Part of me was happy, so I was kind of pitying myself with how simple I was. I mean, she did look great. And besides, she's somehow prettier than she was in college. If I think about just her looks, then she's actually about as attractive as she could be to me. Although, I'd probably have a heart attack with how much she's not my type inside. Why do you keep looking at me? Are you a closeted pervert? No! Then are you an open pervert? You really just want me to be some kind of pervert, huh? All men are. Am I wrong? I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because I feel like there's no right answer to that. So you are a pervert? Hey! I'm joking. You can't push your pervert agenda with a joke! So back at the topic at hand, what do you say? Dating with marriage in mind. Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't have anyone, and I'm just a corporate slave, so I don't meet anyone. And how am I supposed to find someone to date when I have no experience at all? I'm not even interested in marriage, but I want to take good news to my grandpa. Which meant that if you ignored her horrible personality traits, she's actually pretty close to what I've wanted for a long time. I don't think I'd be nervous around her either. I don't know if jumping to dating with marriage in mind is the right thing to do, but... That's what this session is for. I'm sure she wants to appear that she doesn't want more of these sessions in the future. If we go out like that, are we really going to get married? I mean, if you cry and beg, maybe I'd let you marry me. I'm definitely not going to do that, and I won't ever go out with you if you keep it up. I don't know, you might actually fall for me. I don't know where you get that kind of confidence. I mean, it's for my grandpa. Dating isn't out of the picture. Great, it's decided. Then I'll tell my father it's been decided. Why are you so happy? Because I don't have to go to these damn sessions anymore. I hope that's really what it is. I'm worried about the future. All right, we're going on a date next weekend. I work on the weekend. When are you free? I don't know. My company was too tough, so there was basically no way I could build plans at all. Sorry, I'll tell you when I'm free, so can you just wait till then? Fine. You better text me. If you forget or try to hide that you are off, I'm going to be pissed. I really promise. Great. I trust you. I don't care if it was Maki or someone else. I wasn't going to break my promise. See you later, Shiro. Yeah. See you. I've never seen Maki as happy as she looks now when she was seeing me off. Maybe it's because we're dating? She's a really good actor if that's the case. I gotta go on a date on my day off, huh? I should be excited, but... It's Maki! I don't think I've ever been this unexcited for a date. Nope. Sorry to her, but I'm more worried than anything. The day I finally get off, I get to spend with Maki. It's kind of sad, but I can't break the promise. I shouldn't think too much about it. I kind of talked about date plans to her. Honestly, she did most of the planning. She must think that I can't come up with plans. That's not wrong. And honestly, it helped me out because I was busy. We were going to go watch movies, and in the afternoon, we were going to go window shopping. Then we would go to a nice restaurant in the evening for dinner. I work too much and don't have anywhere to spend my money. So this is fine. Shiro, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, no, only like 10 minutes. It's fine. That's where you say that you didn't wait at all. Anyway, were you shocked when you saw me? I don't think so. If you think about her looks only, she really is beautiful. That's all. You have to compliment the girl. That's how dates work. But... Just be honest. I'm not going to get angry with you or anything from you complimenting me. Then, just to be honest with you, your looks alone are definitely my type. I feel bad that you put this much effort into looking good. I'm just in jeans and a t-shirt with a jacket. You like this kind of fashion? 
is that a problem? Not at all. I'm happy that you're complimenting me. But we should figure out something about your outfit. You really haven't changed since college. I mean, I'm single, and I haven't had much time to go outside, so I don't have any reason to work on my fashion sense. I don't really buy clothes, and even if I did, I wouldn't have a reason to wear it. Then, let's go buy some clothes for you first. Change of plans. You're going to go out with me more often, like it or not. You're going to choose my outfit? I'm not going to take no for an answer. Don't worry, I'll choose clothes that suit you. I mean, I'm sure she's got a better sense of fashion than me. And if I'm going to be going out with her more often, I should get more clothes, I think. She says she's going to choose for me, so I guess if I just pay for it, it's easy. Let's go with this and this. Also this. I think this size should be fine, but if you're worried, go <laughs> try them on. Why do you know my size? I can tell by looking, and you'd definitely be an L size with the body shape you have. She wasn't wrong, so I couldn't say no. All of the clothes she chose were fairly simple, so I had no real hesitation wearing them. If you're fine with it, just go try it on and let's change into all that before leaving. It really was perfect. Does it look good? It's better than what you wore in here. I mean, I did choose it for you, so... Why are you so confident? It's fine. Let's go pay for this. We've got plans. What are we doing next? We should figure that hair situation out. Clothes are expensive, huh? Think about it as investing in yourself. Same with hair. I mean, I should look better if I'm with you. I want you to be a man that I'm not embarrassed to stand by. In other words, she's embarrassed to be with me now. So I was taken to the beauty salon, where they cut my hair and trimmed my brows. I looked completely different in the mirror. Uh, not really. But I did look a tad more mature. Did I just compliment myself? Yes, I did. Nice. You might actually be popular now. Really? No way. I'm going to be popular now? Hey, you can't be that happy right next to your girlfriend. <laughs> that actually kind of hurts. My heart hurts more. I'm not sure how there was any part of you that could experience emotional pain. Because you're thinking of other girls. You only think of me, okay? Ignore the others. She's so close. I mean, if I move a little more forward, I could probably kiss her. Not that I'm going to, but... Man, if you had a better personality, you'd be perfect. Sorry that I have a rotten personality. Huh? Did I just say that out loud? Yeah, you just voiced the thing about how my personality is bad. If I tell you that your face makes up for it, would you forgive me? No. Right. Lead. Huh? Today's date. You need to lead me. Then I'll think about forgiving you. You'll think about forgiving me, huh? Fine. I'm not used to it, though, so you'll have to forgive me. If you were used to it, I probably wouldn't forgive you for a different reason. Okay, so it's a lose-lose. Afterwards, we went back to our original plan and had a light lunch before shopping. I actually had a pretty decent time with Maki. If anything, I felt a little nostalgia after we stopped arguing all the time, too. Maybe it was my age or something, but I was able to stop pushing my own opinions on people. If you think about all the unreasonable crap that my company did to me, what she was saying was cute. Are you sure this is what you wanted in a date? I guess so. This is my first time, too, so I don't know what's right. Huh? Today's your first date? No way! Why would I lie about that? Honestly, I haven't even had a boyfriend before you. You were so popular, though. How? Just figure it out, stupid. Huh? Because I liked someone. I knew that this person was the only one for me, so I couldn't go out with anyone else. Then why didn't you just ask that person out? I'm sure there would be no one in the world who wouldn't be happy that you asked him out. It's not that simple. You know how I am. You think I could just be honest in front of the person that I like? No. I thought you were just cynical as a person. Whatever. I was trying to be honest in front of that person. That's why I wanted to ask you. Did I look more honest than before today? Huh? 
Why is she asking me that? Wait a second. She couldn't be honest with the person she liked, but she's asking me if she did today? Do you like... me? I was thinking about all the possibilities, but that was the only logical conclusion. Yes, is that a problem? Seriously? 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 If you want me to give you a serious answer, seriously. She was affirming me with no doubt, so I was even more confused. But I seriously couldn't help but just repeating, seriously? So the whole matchmaking, was it set up? You showed up out of coincidence, but after I found out, I told them to hide my name because if you'd known, then I would lose my chance to see you and tell you about my feelings. So the whole thing about dodging other sessions... That was true, but that was a bonus. I wanted to use this to drag you into marrying me. I know I did something wrong, but if I didn't do this, I never would have been able to find the time and place to tell you how I felt, so... It's fine. You don't have to apologize. I gotta get married soon anyway. I was a little surprised that you were the woman for the matchmaking, but going out with you today? I had a lot of fun. Really? I wouldn't lie about this when you're being this honest with me. So let me tell you too. I'd love to go out with you with marriage in mind. Of course you'd be lucky to. No, sorry. I'd love to do that, Shiro. I'll try my best to be more honest with you, so can you be with me more? We can take our time. I'm used to cynical, Maki. It would be weird if you suddenly became honest. Well, I'm going to keep surprising you like that. Shiro, I am so glad I didn't stop liking you.